Your motorcycle is either being fed fuel through a carburetor with jets or via a throttle body with an injector. What happens when these two face off? We'll find out in this video from the MC Garage. Carburetors and fuel injection both have the same job to do, which is to mix fuel and air in the right ratio for proper combustion. Carburetors are your old school analog option, and they're what all motorcycles relied on up until fuel injection began to arrive in the 1980s. Nowadays, pretty much all bikes have fuel injection, though some scooters and small displacement bikes still use carburetors to keep costs down. This thing may look complicated, but it's actually a pretty simple device. Intake vacuum created by the piston moving down in the cylinder draws gas up out of the float bowl and into the combustion chamber. That is a super simplified explanation of how this sucker works, but my point is that carburetors are entirely mechanical. That is both a blessing and a curse because carbs don't require electricity or external systems to do their job, but they are affected by air temperature and elevation, and that in turn affects the way your motorcycle runs. Electronic fuel injection, on the other hand, doesn't care if it's hot out, cold out, or if you're riding at sea level or up at 10,000 feet while going over a mountain pass. This guy may look less complicated than a carburetor, but the fact is there's a lot going on with fuel injection and there's electricity, plus various sensors and circuit boards helping this guy do its job. The main difference is that rather than reacting to pressure changes like a carburetor, EFI makes its own pressure with a fuel pump so it can inject gas into the engine anytime it wants. With all of its sophisticated components, fuel injection is a far more precise means of delivering fuel into the engine. And that means your bike's gonna run better. Plus, with fuel injection, you don't have to deal with a choke lever on cold starts. You don't have to deal with a leaking pet cock or float bowl or gummed up jets. The fact is, modern fuel injection is extremely reliable and you're unlikely to have any issues with your fuel system. That being said, if you do have any problems, you're not likely going to be able to fix it on the side of the road and replacement parts like a new fuel pump or throttle position sensor are expensive. Meanwhile, carburetor parts are relatively inexpensive and these things are simple enough that you can work on them at home with basic tools. Unfortunately, if your bike does have carburetors, you will end up working on them. And while the work itself isn't usually that difficult, it is time consuming and inconvenient. It's those maintenance and reliability issues that have helped make fuel injection so popular, while carburetors have become pretty rare. What's really killing carburetors though are environmental concerns. EFI is dynamic and it can stick to an extremely narrow air fuel ratio that gets you better fuel efficiency and reduced tailpipe emissions. Whereas carburetors here with their fixed orifice jets just aren't that adaptable or precise. And even when carbureted bikes are sitting still and not running, they're still wafting gas vapors into the air from the open vents in their float bowls and their gas tanks. And with today's emission standards, that sort of stuff just isn't gonna fly, so manufacturers have switched to fuel injection. So there you have it, a quick comparison of the two technologies that are feeding fuel to motorcycle engines. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you learned something, I hope you'll subscribe, and until next time, ride safe.